So what's going on guys, Mike here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at something I got for my new car and if you didn't know, I got a Sirocco for the channel, a Volkswagen Sirocco. So if you do want to check that out, I'll leave it in the iCard above and also in the description below. So I just started a new series of autofocus focusing on cars and how I mod my cars. So if you're interested in those stuff, you can check out the video on my channel. Alright, so this video is focused on the 70 mine A500 dash cam Pro Plus. So the reason I got this over the A800 is that this offers me enough of the features that I need. I do not need a rear dash cam because honestly my tin is too dark for the dash cam even to capture anything at night. So I think that defeats the purpose of having a, a rear cam anyway. So I decided to go with the 70 mine dash cam Pro Plus and this is a big upgrade over the 70 My Pro dash cam which I've been using in my couple of cars now because this has actually an inbuilt GPS module the other older dash cam actually you had to buy an additional module to attach to the dash cam and overall the mounting for the dash cam wasn't that good I guess uh, in my opinion I feel it's a bit rattly but I hope this will be much better so I decided to go for the new version this is not a 4k dash cam like the 800 this is actually a 2.7k dash cam I mean in my opinion weighing the pros and cons of having a 4k dash cam I think I would choose a 2.7k dash cam because you don't really need 4k dash cam on a car I mean it's just recording the scene in front of you you don't really need a 4k dash cam a 2.7k dash cam basically saves more space and you get a decent amount of resolution 1080p is a bit on the low side but 2.7k is just right at the sweet spot in my opinion and on top of that i also got the hot wire kit the 70 my hot wire kit because i do want parking surveillance and this camera is actually capable of time-lapse photography so i think it's a very very good feature especially if you're parking overnight or parking outdoors having parking surveillance is actually pretty good but however this parking surveillance has some flaws but anyways if you haven't subscribed to this channel already do hit that subscribe button and enable notification so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post and without further ado let's get into the unboxing of the 70 my dash cam pro plus Alright guys, so we are back and this is just going to be a very quick unboxing of this dash cam because I'm going to be handing it over to a professional to actually do the installation because I do not fancy playing around with the electrical system of my car. Yes, it's very simple. I've seen many people do DIY mods or DIY installs but however, I do not want to take the risk because you know, Continental cars are, are slightly more sensitive than Japanese as well as local cars local Malaysian car so because of that I do not want to get anything shorted out or spoiled in the process so I'll be handing it over to a professional to actually get this installed but anyways let's quickly get into the unboxing I got this from a store called Dasher for around 239 ringgit around that of course this this uh, hard wire kit was sold separately so this was another 50 to 60 ringgit uh, in my opinion if you're going to get this camera get it with the hard wire kit because the camera on its own the battery doesn't really last that long and exposed to the heat the internal battery basically dies very quickly so definitely getting a hard wire kit will help to prolong the battery i should say because it keeps it charged all right so on the front we get a glimpse of the dash cam you can see the model here 70 my smart dash cam pro plus a500 and this is the english version and then on the bottom you can see 70 my dash cam pro plus same thing the side 70 my so basically the features on the bottom you can see so 2.7k ultra hd see that is also app enabled so there's an app to go with it so i'll be covering more of this dash cam in my autofocus episode so do stay tuned for that so there's also hdr as well as built-in wi-fi and gps wi-fi is a standard thing for dash cams but uh, gps however is not but i mean a gps module is something that i can live without as well but since this is included for the price i mean it's a no-brainer all right so let's uh quickly get this unwrapped all right so let me pull out the plastic to the side let me open the box and see what comes inside packaging all right so sliding the sleeve out simple as that all right guys so on the top you get the 70 my sleeve which contains hmm, some stuff not just documentation so you get a replacement sticky tape double-sided tape you will definitely need that if you're going to be changing your car after installing the dash cam so there'll be future proofing and then you get some installation uh, protectors i should say so it doesn't damage the tint if you have a tint on your front windshield all right so last but not least we have a user manual so i basically don't need to read this 
Anyways, let's get into the dash cam and see what is different. Oh, so actually turn it on accidentally. All right, so you can see it powered on already. Uh, so there you go, introduction speech. Okay, so it turned off. All right, guys. So as you saw just now, there was a battery status LED right here. So it's to show you green for recording, red when the battery is low, and also blue if I'm not mistaken. And then here is the screen. So I'm going to be peeling this off just to show you guys and sticking that back on so you have a very small screen in front which is more than adequate in my opinion and you have four buttons with uh, different modes so one of them is the power button that's what you saw me press so this is the power button not mistaken you see yes this is the power button and this is how you navigate through the menus in the dash cam so i'll probably do this setup when i've got this installed so the screen is not too bad i mean it's not the clearest thing but you don't really need a very good display on the dash cam because you're most likely going to use the app anyways right so you can see right here 70 my i believe the built-in module is here the gps module let me check what else comes in the box Right, so let's see whether the module is separate, but I believe it's not. Well, I guess you may be wondering what is this. This is actually how you mount the dash cam on the windscreen. So this is actually removable, so you can actually take out your dash cam if you want to remove like the SD card or something like that, because the SD card is in a very awkward position, especially if you put it up near your rear view mirror. So it's very hard to remove the SD card, so you might just take out the whole dash cam to remove the SD card. Okay, so you also have a tool here to actually remove the dash cam on the windshield not mistaken I believe this tool is what it's used for all right and then you also get a micro usb cable they're still on micro usb but uh on the dash cam doesn't really matter you don't need usb c so this is a long micro usb cable but however i won't be using this since i do have the hard wire kit so this will be going back into the box all right what else do we have do we have anything else let's see we do have a, another box inside this all right so here okay that's about it actually so this is the last thing all right so this is actually how you connect the car to a cigarette lighter port so there are two usb ports here one with quick charge i believe so the orange one right here but anyways if you have the hard wire kit basically your micro usb cable as well as your car charger is redundant because you don't really need those so like me i do not need those all right so let's take a look at the dash cam so as what I explained to you earlier, the power buttons at the bottom and then you get four navigation buttons Then you get the 70 my branding You get the lens in front which is uh, adjustable Like this, so it suits most of the cars You get 70 my logo on the front The GPS module should be built in here And then you have a speaker right here on the right side You get a micro USB charging port or DC in as well as a micro SD card slot on the right side basically nothing because that's where your lens goes so I heard this this sensor is improved but this color temperature is slightly colder to the previous version the 70 my pro but uh, to me it doesn't really matter important is that the footage is clear all right so this has been a very quick unboxing of the 70 my a500 Pro Plus dash cam. So I'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested to purchase one for yourself. So do stay tuned for the coming episodes of Autofocus where I'll also be checking out this dash cam with you guys and also showing you guys how to set this dash cam up. That's a very new series, so I do appreciate your support. So, guys, this has been a very quick video. If you did like it, do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more sneak peeks on the upcoming videos. So, my Instagram account is structured underscore official. So, that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.